In the, in the late 1980s, um, there was a lot of uh, computers at CERN. We had uh, lots of different machines from lots of different manufacturers, uh, and networking was still in its infancy. We had uh, about 80% of the European internet centered at CERN. So there was a lot of interest in um, finding out how to make machines communicate, how to get to, at uh, information on different, different computers. I remember that uh, I was very frustrated one day with just FTP and Telnet, two, two mechanisms at that time for, for getting at uh, information on other computers, and spoke to Tim and, and, and said to him, you know, there's got to be a better way. So he invited me down to his office and he said, let me show you what I've been working on. And I have a recollection that this was a, um, a VMS machine where he had a, um, an alphanumeric display and he could um, rather uh, easily um, give a number and point to a different piece of information. So that perhaps was the, was the, very, the very first web browser. Uh, later on, um, I remember walking around the CERN car park with uh, Tim Berners-Lee and um, asking him uh, you know, what he was going to do next. And he said he was undecided. He said, you know, I don't know if I should go commercial or whether I should go to the States and actually start a foundation and uh, do what is good and true and right for, for mankind with the web. Of course, we know what he, what he did in the end.